Hello and welcome back to NorCal 715. Today I have this Panasonic microwave oven NNSB646S. So I should have started the video off with this. To get this unit apart you're going to need to have a T15 with the tamper proof center pin in it. Uh, the pin on these is recessed enough that you could probably use a standard T15 just as long as it was pretty flat like this one is all the way to the tip where the uh, lobes start. The good news is uh, to reassemble it if you don't want to use those is the thread pitch and the size is extremely close to an 832 so you can reassemble it with 832s which is what I'm going to do so I don't have to go through the hassle of finding a T15 tamper proof to take it apart. I know they, they uh, have these tools at the Harbor Freight but I just don't have them with me where I am at the moment. 1100 watt high power. This is not the inverter model like in my other video. This one actually has an iron core transformer and a capacitor to make the necessary 4,000-ish volts to run the magnetron. A Wittal magnetron with a bunch of Chinese writing made in China. So the problem that I'm having with this one, I'm gonna hit quick 30, I'm gonna hit start, the light lights up, the fan never spins, and I never hear anything coming out of the magnetron whatsoever. If I stop it, I do hear some relay clicks. But I never get any power out of it. So the first thing I'm gonna check, I know right off the bat that my thermals are good. There's two of them right here. And I know that because the AC cord comes right into the filter board. Obviously it's fused and it comes right out of here, the hot is the black lead. It goes straight into the first one, it comes right out of here and goes straight into the second one. So I know that's good, I know the lamp's good, because it lights obviously. And so I know we're probably making contact on the main power relay right here. This is the one that actually starts the magnetron. So, um, let's look at our door switches. So I wanna listen for clicks. I'm gonna open the door very gently. One click, two clicks. I should get three clicks because I've got one, two, three switches. I'm hearing a click down here. So I think the first click I'm hearing is this bottom one as that cam lifts off of it. The second one is right there when that cam comes off that switch. But I should have a third click up here. I can get in here. And I think I see right off the bat, it's got no lever. The push button for that switch is gone. So on most of these Panasonics, you can just push these little tabs up and out and the switch will actually pull right out. I can get it to very carefully unplug. There, there's the button. Totally flush with the top of the switch. So let's see if I have an extra one of these guys laying around somewhere. So it's a KW3A, and as luck would have it, I just happen to have another one, and it too has a white actuator, and it too does not click. But I happen to have yet a third one. It's a KW3A. And it clicks. Dong Nan is the manufacturer. 10 amps, 30 volts. 16 parentheses, 4 amps, 125, 250 volts. Micro symbol, 40T105, 5E4. I have to look all that up. So 16 GPA, 125, 250 volts. Micro 40T105, 5E4. Not quite sure what all that means. But I just happen to have two, one that I salvaged out of another microwave, and it's got a white actuator and it does not click, so I'm sure it's bad as well as this one. Then I have the other good black actuator, so let's put that one in. Let's try to pop this one open and see what's going on inside here. I can do it one-handedly. There we go. Oh, you can see uh, the contact has just grenaded itself. 
I think it's actually melted part of the switch inside here. There's a close-up of one of the contacts. Definitely underrated for this application. There's the rest of the bits and pieces right there. Yeah, it's been used up. There's a the little spring of a thing. button's definitely been used up. It's just, it's wasted. It just got too hot and gave up on life. So much for the Dong Nan. Goodbye Dong Nan. So I went ahead and took the other switch apart and I noticed that this part of the socket contact it's supposed to be up in the slot and it's kind of melted out of it. And I've already went ahead and I pulled the plunger loose. But you can see when I depress this, it's supposed to get to the point where that spring causes this contact to snap down in place right there. So we'll go ahead and attach the leads back up to it here. Now let's see if I can film it all one-handed. I don't have a tripod on me at the moment. And so you can see there's a pin right there that has to go through that hole and then it snaps into place. So let's go ahead and plug it back in. We've got lights. Give it 30 seconds. See if we get a fan spin. And we do. Let me get a cup of water and throw inside there. It works. I heard the magnetron start. Let's check current draw. All right, so this time I got my Fluke 336 connected on one of the hot leads coming in. So I'm just gonna give it two minutes. We're gonna hit go. And we're drawing about 10 or 11 amps. Try to get that more centered through the middle to get a more accurate measurement. There we go. You're about 18, 19 amps right there. I think the water load moving around inside is what's giving it that discrepancy. Because I'm not moving anything on this end and it's jumping around. As it turns on the turntable. 15, 16 amps. Hopefully when it finishes up we'll have a little bit of steam coming off. Oh, we got more than steam. We got bubbles. I boiled that cup of water. Well, that certainly works. Well, I certainly hope you enjoyed this quick little video on the Panasonic microwave. The light lights up, but it won't cook with the Dong Nan defective switch. If this video has helped you, please consider making a donation on my YouTube homepage with the PayPal donate button or at paypal.me slash NorCal715. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter at NorCal715. I try to answer your comments and your questions as much as possible, but of course I can't answer every single one. Remember, with your help, we can keep these things out of the landfill and out of the recycle bin. Everybody have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.